Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Dawson. And before we start today's video, I just want to say I hope you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving. And we are on the road to 100 subscribers. So if you aren't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. And let's get started. You were lucky to win a game against the Astros while they steamrolled you in the division series. You said that you wanted to add a power bat and this is your priority this offseason, but you need to add a lefty bullpen arm as Robbie Scott is the only one left, so figure that out. You decided to fire Joe Girardi after you made it to the ALCS during a rebuilding year, and now the search for the manager has begun without any real great looking candidates. However, now all of your focus has come on acquiring Otani when you should be trying to get rid of that horrendous contract of Jacoby Ellsbury. Go ahead and try to sign a guy like Lorenzo Cain before you trade him and Donaldson in the middle of the year when you realize you can't compete. Keep tanking and trade Manny while his value is still high before you lose him in free agency when his contract is up. The Rays are in a weird spot right now. There is still a question on whether they should tank or try and build on their current core. But considering there are reports that they are open to trading Longoria, it looks like they are going to tank. Good luck with trying to get the city to approve that new stadium while you lose 100 games a year. How could you manage to blow a lead again? I mean, it's almost like you're cursed or something. The only real thing I could see the Indians doing is re-signing Jay Bruce, Brian Shaw, and Carlos Santana. And if you lose Santana, go sign Logan Morrison. Shohei Otani is your only hope at getting the ace you need in free agency. Have fun trying to convince him to play baseball in Minnesota. You're going to lose all of your core pieces in free agency. Tank. Justin Verlander was the only thing keeping this team somewhat alive, so tank with the White Sox for draft pitch. You finally won a championship, but there's still room to improve. Add a lefty bullpen arm and sign a DH now that Beltron is retired. You are sort of close with competing with the Astros. Your offense really needs some work though. Re-signing Justin Upton was a good move, but you still need another power bat and an increased team batting average. Mike Trout can only carry you so far. Like most teams, you've been shoving all your attention at Otani. Your rotation does need a lot of work, so make sure you get another starter, sign a first baseman, maybe a guy like Logan Morrison, and add a bullpen arm. You realize that the Astros are way better than you, and you gave up and traded you Darvish. Skip the offseason and move on to another mediocre season. You have no money. I don't really see much of anything the Nationals can improve this offseason. Yes, they can make small additions like another starter and bench depth, but that's it. This is your last chance before Harper leaves. Don't blow it. Trading Stanton is basically the white flag that the fish are waving. Next year, you won't be able to compete, but when Harper leaves, the East will be wide open. This is already shaping up to be one of the worst off-seasons ever for you. Your GM was fired after you violated the international signing rules. You lost 12 prospects, including your best one. However, your farm system is still stat, and the big league roster has a decent core which you could add pieces to. But with a new GM, you'll probably do very little this off-season. What happened to you guys? After the 2015 season, the future looked bright in New York, but without any depth anywhere and with your great pitchers being made of glass, it seems it may be time to taint soon. Give up on trying to get Stanton. He's not going to Philly while he's in his prime. The Phillies are still far away from contending. Add more pitching. The Dodgers totally exposed you guys during the NLCS. Your pitching is absolutely horrendous and if Arietta leaves, you guys are screwed. You better hope you get saved by Otani. You guys were actually close to catching the Cubs last year. You are just a few pieces away from actually claiming the NL Central. I would recommend going hard after Darvish while other teams chase Otani and add another power bat like Santana. You're close Milwaukee. You don't even know how to be a bad team. The Cardinals are basically the Spurs of the MLB. This team has few crats that need to be fits like starting pitching and power hitting. But with the NL Central basically wide open, make a few moves like trading for Abreu and sign a starting pitcher. McCutcheon is starting to age horribly and Garrett Cole is the only thing keeping this team afloat. Give up and try again in 5 years. 
Continue to tank and trade Billy Hamilton. Come back in two years. You were so close to beating the Astros, but you forgot how to play baseball in Game 7. Since Darvish has been totally roasted by the fans, it's likely he's going to leave soon, so go find another starter. This team is also getting close. You're going to lose JD Martinez in the offseason, but your core is still very good. Add an outfielder, a starter, and a late inning arm, and you will be back in the World Series Mitch. The Rockies need to get some help if they want to compete in the West. I don't see a lot of people wanting to go to Colorado in free agency, so the only option is to acquire some pitching and possibly another hitter through trades. You're still feeling the effects of winning the 2012 offseason. Continue the tank. I guess now the Giants are the favorite to land Stanton and his horrible contract. But what the Giants should actually do, I covered in an entire video. Boom, here's the card. Go watch it. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to like the video and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which is going to be a good one. I know you've been needing somebody. Nobody really got me like I got me. Just tell me what you really want from me.